Hi! Muslims have always claimed that Muhammad is the greatest prophet. He is the final prophet. And on top of that, he is the seal of all the true prophets. Now, Muslims, and here comes the two, two million dollar questions. Can you show us one fulfilled prophecy from the Quran? And can you show us in the Quran where Muhammad made any miracles? Today, we're going to show you in this teaching that there are no fulfilled prophecies at all in the Quran. And we're going to show you that Muhammad was not given any miracles. So, how do Muslims claim that Muhammad is a prophet? You tell me. If we can prove to you today that Muhammad did not give one single prophecy and he was not given any miracle, that means Muhammad is nothing but a fake prophet. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and smash that like button. Let us start this teaching. When we ask Muslims to show us a prophecy in the Quran that has been fulfilled, Muslims often go to chapter 10, which is chapter Yunus, ayah 92. Let me read this ayah for you to see if this is a fulfilled prophecy. فَالْيَوْمَ نُنَجِّيكَ بِبَدَنِكَ إِلَى الْآخِرِ الْآيَةِ so the translation of this ayah is this day shall we save thee in the body this is talking about the body of pharaoh right when pharaoh was persecuting the israelites into the sea right in the story of moses here allah is saying that he will save him in the body But is this a true prophecy, guys, that has been fulfilled? No. And here is why. Muslims love to have a cake and eat it too. Here is why. If we go to chapter 43, ayah 55 and ayah 56, it says, When at length they provoked us, we exacted retribution from them. And we drowned them all. Who did they drown? Who did Allah drown? He drowned the Pharaoh together with his soldiers in the sea. And it says in the following ayah, and we made them a people of the past and an example to later ages. So they getting drowned, the Pharaoh and his men was an example for the later ages. Right? So here we have a major contradiction with chapter nine, uh, sorry, chapter 10, ayah 92. This is a major contradiction because here Allah is saying that he will save Pharaoh in his body. But here he, Pharaoh, is drowned together with his soldiers when they went after the Israelites and Moses. So Muslims, please don't go to this so-called fulfilled prophecy because you're going to show us nothing but a major, major contradiction in your Quran. So guys, please take notes and use this in your debates with Muslims. And Muslims, you need to wake up and see that here, this is nothing but a fake prophecy and only a big contradiction so to the muslims can allah call himself god and contradict himself in the quran together with his fake prophet no so we can conclude if we can show you one contradiction allah is nothing but a fake god and muhammad is nothing but a fake prophet so we can conclude that Muhammad was fabricating ayahs, 
busting himself, contradicting himself because he's nothing but a fake prophet and the proof is in front of you. Here it says we drown them all and here the body of Pharaoh will be saved by Allah. Major, major contradiction. To conclude, here this is nothing but a major contradiction. According to this passage, Allah saves Pharaoh in his body. We save thee in thy body. Chapter 10, Ayah 92. And in chapter 43, it says, We punish them and drown them all. As we showed you. Pharaoh was drowned together with his soldiers. But here, Allah is saying that Pharaoh will be saved in his body. Muslims, you cannot have a cake and eat it too. This is nothing but a big contradiction. Muslims also love to go to chapter 30, a room, ayahs 2 to 4. Let us read those ayahs. The Roman Empire has been defeated. And the following ayah, in a land close by, but they even after this defeat of theirs will soon be victorious. So the Romans will be victorious after being defeated. Within a few years, fi bid'i sinina, within a few years they will be victorious. Within a few years in the Arabic, fi bid'i sinina means between three and nine years. Again, between three and nine years, that's what it within a few years in the Arabic means. Not more than nine years, but a couple of years, right? Not more than nine years. So to make this a fulfilled prophecy, or call this a fulfilled prophecy, this so-called fulfilled prophecy in the Quran should be in line with historical evidence, right? else it will not pass as a fulfilled prophecy. So let us see if this is truly within a few years, which is three and nine, between three and nine. Now if we do some historical digging, historical research, we can conclude that this is nothing but a fake prophecy again that does not line up with history read with me using the year 614 and 615 as the date of the persian victory over the romans muslims are left with insurmountable problems for instance if we take the restoring of the cross in the year 630 as our date this means that it took the Romans between 15 and 16 years to permanently conquer the Persians. Yet if we take the year 628 as the official date, this means that it took them between 13 and 14 years. Let us suppose that the official date was 627 AD. This still leaves us with between 12 and 13 years and not and not the three to nine years as the quran states so here muslims again for the love of god do not use chapter 30 to show us that this is a fulfilled prophecy because it says within a few years Within a few years means a couple years, not 12 to 13 years, or 15 to 16 years, or 13 to 14 years. If we're going to be political correct, and we say it's, let's say it's between 12 to 13 years, that's way more than within few, few years, which is in the Arabic between three and nine years. So again, Muslims, you cannot have a cake and eat it too. Again, we can prove to you from this evidence that you can see in front of you that Muhammad was nothing but a liar and a deceiver and certainly not a prophet of 
God. Again, we can conclude that Muhammad is nothing but a fake prophet who did not give any fulfilled prophecy. To show you and prove to you that Muhammad was nothing but a warner, certainly not a prophet, because as we showed you, he did not give any fulfilled prophecy, but we showed you that all these so-called fulfilled prophecies were nothing but contradictions with one another from different ayahs and also a contradiction in history. And if we go to Surah Al-Isra, chapter 17, ayah 59, we can read and we refrain from sending the signs only because the men of former generation treated them as false. And the Arabic says, وَمَا مَنَعَنَا أَن نُرْسِلَ بِآيَاتِ إِلَّا أَن كَذَّبَ بِهَا الْأَوَّلُونَ So, Allah refrained of sending ayat or translated signs or miracles to Muhammad. And he was nothing but a warner. He only warned the Muslims. Right? So he was not a true prophet. He, give no, he did not give any prophecy that was fulfilled. And he's nothing but a warner. Let me show you. If we go to chapter 50, ayah 45 from Surah Al-Qaf, it says, We know of best what they say. And you, O Muhammad, are not a tyrant over them to force them to believe, but warned by the Quran, him who fears my threat. We can read the following. According to the Quran, Muhammad is merely a warner. According to the Quran. As we showed you from chapter 50, ayah 45, Muhammad is to warn Muslims by the Quran and nothing more. So Muslims, today we have taught you that Muhammad is nothing but a warner. He is certainly not a prophet. He, Allah did not give him any signs or miracles. Muhammad could not perform any signs or miracles. And as we showed you from chapter 10 and 43 and chapter 30, that there were no fulfilled prophecies in the Quran. So the one million dollar question is, is Muhammad a true prophet? I will leave the answer for you to fill that in. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. Please download this video, share it around on social media and thank you for watching. God bless.